Where does Earth end? Is it the crashing waves on the shore? The last peak of a mountain? Or is it somewhere far above your head in the thin silence of space? You've lived on this planet your whole life, but you've never truly seen its edge. Because Earth's end isn't just one line. It's a series of invisible boundaries. On the ground, the edge is easy. Continents meet oceans, and oceans fade into the abyss of the deep sea. But look up, and the question gets trickier. Our breathable atmosphere stretches about 60 miles high. Past that, the air thins to nothing. This line, the Kármán line, is what scientists call the start of space. But Earth's influence doesn't stop there. Its magnetic shield, our invisible guardian, extends tens of thousands of miles out, deflecting deadly solar radiation. And even that isn't the true end. Because Earth's gravity clings to objects almost a million miles away, so where does Earth end? At the shoreline? The edge of the atmosphere? The reach of its gravity? The truth is, Earth never really ends. It just fades into the vast ocean of space, carrying us with it. And maybe that's the point. Our home is bigger than we think, and its borders aren't walls. They're horizons waiting to be crossed. Next time you look up at the sky, remember, you're already standing on the edge of space.